Some of the kinetic energy in the wind is transformed into waves once the wind hits the ocean surface. Wind energy is formed due to solar energy as well as influences of high and low pressures. This is the reason why wave and wind power are considered renewable energy resources. The density of energy that is transported under the ocean wave is about five times higher than the wind energy 20 meters above. In other words, the amount of energy in a single wave is very high. So, how does wave power work? Well, let's head to the lab. So welcome back to the crew. And back to the question, how does wave power work? Well, let's get into it. Wave power stations work by placing a structure near a body of water with a water chamber and a turbine. The waves cause the water level to rise and fall in the chamber, and a turbine which turns a generator is placed in a hole where the resulting air from the waves escapes. The force generated by the movement of the waves causes air to push out through this turbine, and thus, wave energy is harnessed. <laughs> I'm sorry about those unprofessional clowns. So, an oscillating water column is the partially lowered into the water. It is open below the surface line with a hollow upper part filled with air. The water level within the water column increases and decreases with waves, coming in resulting in compression and decompression of air. A generator converts this mechanical energy into useful electricity. The point absorber consists of a series of long units floating on the surface of the water, following the movements of the wave. This is a surface following attenuator. It is the movement that is harnessed and converted to electricity in the point absorber. This device looks like a sea snake in the water. It consists of a series of joints and generate power as soon as waves moves up the project around the And I don't want a cable moves to electricity to the shore. All right, sweet. Main energy transformations. An oscillating water column. It begins with wave uh, wind blowing to the movement of waves, to the compression or decompression of air, to the turning turbine, to the generator being driven, and the production of electricity. <sighs> the surface following attenuator. Well, it begins exactly the same, almost. It starts with wind blowing, to the movement of waves, to the movement of palamas, to the oil pumping of hydraulic rams, to the driving of the generator, and the production of electricity. Okay, so wave power is a renewable resource as it is ultimately powered by ocean waves. <laughs> wave power is being used in Australia. It is a small scale project located at Perth in Western Australia and Portland <laughs> in Victoria. <laughs> Wave power is also used worldwide. The main countries utilizing wave power are South Korea and the United Kingdom. The use of wave power relies on the location of the <laughs> country. <laughs> countries that are exposed to consistent strong waves would benefit over countries that do not have the same geographical location advantages, which could explain why some countries use it more than others. Other, other, others. Well, thank you for tuning in to... Wait, sorry about that. Thank you for tuning in to 3 Step Science, and I'll see you in the next video. Is wave power in a nutshell. We'll move on to our partner, Jing Source, to go further into this topic. Hey guys, Jing Source here. Okay, so now you know how it works, but how does it compare to our standard form of energy that is fossil fuels? What are the advantages and disadvantages of using this resource? Okay, first thing, it's obviously a renewable energy source, which means it will never run out. There will always be waves crashing upon the shores 
after all three <laughs> nations, especially in the south coast of Australia. Also, unlike fossil fuels, where the energy does not create any nasty, nasty byproducts such as gas, waste, and air pollution, the energy created by waves can be can be directly taken into power generators and power plants nearby. Another advantage of using this wave power is there are so many ways to harness it. Gathering methods range from installed power plants to hydro turbines, seafaring vessels equipped with massive structures that are laid out to collect the wave energy. The biggest advantage of wave power as against most other alternative energy resources is that it is easily predictable and can also be used to calculate the amount it can produce. The wave energy is consistent and provides much better than much better sources that are dependent on wind or sun exposure. So, there are so many awesome qualities of wave energy, so why haven't you heard about it as much as wind or solar energy? Or have you even heard about it? Well, a reason is because it's not suitable for everyone, actually very limited to most people. Only power plants and Only power plants and towns near the ocean will benefit directly from it. Landlocked nations and cities far from the sea have to find alternate sources of power. So wave energy is not the clean energy solution for everyone. Another major reason is the cost to make these machines that harness energy from waves. Wave power is in its very early stages of development which makes speculating on cost harder. Many of the parts that involve in wave power generation also require regular maintenance. The fact that some parts of these are underwater does not make it any easier or cheaper for that matter. Also, as clean as wave energy is, it still creates hazards for some creatures near living near it. Large machines have been Filling and polluting the water near them. Okay, enough information. Our team interviewed some locals who live near wave energy converters to see their views on it. This is how it went. Excuse me, sir. Sir. What do you want, man? Well, oh my god, oh, so see, if, you do, if you don't want to, we'll be no, on no, our no, way. No, 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 okay, it's okay, just, just go. Okay, yeah. so, do you know about wave power? Yeah. Oh, yeah, wave power. A very good one. Like, I learned that when I was in high school, when I was 12 years old. I, I did a very smart one when I was 12. Yeah, I grew in the prefecture, very top in the top in the prefecture. Uh, so yeah, I entered competition, many competition like chemistry, the science one, all science, math, all come first, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, so you said, but you're going off topic. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, way power. Okay, thanks, sir. But did you know that a wave? Energy converter is just right there, far into the sea there. Oh, oh, I didn't know. Very small. Can you see? So it doesn't seem to be vecting the view of the sea for like this, right? No, no, not very small. You can't see it. Thanks for your opinion, sir. Okay, welcome. Yeah, what? But just tell everyone, yeah, stop with the media, too much media. Make everyone look at me. I don't want famous already, you know, or else I do the wing chun like this, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wave power has the potential to be really awesome and reach a global level. However, it still needs infancy 
very costly to make and maintain. Needs more fundraising and research involved so it can push prices to a competitive level. And as always, thanks for watching.